Today I'm talking to you about my top five super speedy sewing patterns. So we all love an in-depth project that we can get our teeth stuck into, but I don't know about you, sometimes I really love a quick, easy, super speedy pattern that doesn't take much brain power and I can just get on with it and know that in an afternoon or a couple of evenings I have a brand new garment that I can wear with pride and it didn't take that much effort. <laughs> Number five is the Closet Core Ebony Top and Dress. This is quite an old pattern now. They've actually changed their name. Here it says Closet Case Patterns. They are now called Closet Core and they only sell their patterns in PDF. So I have this as a printed pattern. Unfortunately, it's no longer available as a printed pattern. It is only PDF. Um, but this is a top dress or you can even have a crop top version. So there's three different lengths. I've made the top and the dress, I prefer the top, I think it looks really nice with jeans and the only fitting that you need to do is across your bust or if you're bigger busted across your high bust, that is literally the only fitting you need to do because the rest of it just flares out. So there's no fitting, tick one for nice and quick. Um, the other thing is it is a jersey fabric which means you don't need to finish the seams, you don't need to use the overlocker or do a zigzag or a French seam. Tick number two for a super speedy pattern. Um, there are a couple of different variations. You can do raglan sleeves or regular sleeves and on a jersey top pattern, sleeves tend to be added on the flat rather than inserted. Again, another super speedy way of sewing sleeves. Um, so yeah, I really love this pattern. The only downside is that their sizing isn't super inclusive. They are working on it and gradually bringing out new or bringing out new versions of old patterns in a wider size range. This goes up to a size 20, which is a 46 inch bust. Um, but like I said, there is loads of room around the waist and hips. So that is a really quick pattern and I love it. I really need to make some more actually. Number four is the True Bias Maeve skirt. So this is a skirt made with a woven fabric and it does have some gathering. So there are a couple more steps to do, but the skirt comes together really quickly and there's not really any fitting involved, which makes it a bit more speedy than another woven pattern. For example, an A-line or a pencil skirt, you might need a bit more work around fitting. I have recently made two Maeve skirts and I wear them all the time. I love them so much. It is fitted at the waist. It's up to you and your body shape whether you prefer to wear it um, high-waisted or on your hips. Personally, I prefer it to be high-waisted. It's elasticated, so there's no um, fiddly fastenings, no zips or buttons or anything like that to do. It's just a case of inserting some elastic through a channel and then stitching it down. And there's loads of different options for the skirt. You can just do a simple knee length gathered skirt, or you can add one or two gathered tiers to make it a bit more interesting, make it maxi, midi, anything you like really. The options are endless. I've made it in a, um, a crepe fabric and a viscose fabric, but I think it would look really lovely in a double gauze and in a cotton for a little bit more structure as well, or a chambray or something like that. So, and the other good thing is because it's a fairly simple pattern, it lets the fabric do the talking. The pattern comes in printed in a size zero to 18, or you can get PDF in a size 14 to 30. So there is a really nice size range there as well. I have actually done a sewing video of making the Maeve skirt, so click right here and you can have a look at that. Pattern number three is the Sew Over It Ultimate T-shirt. I think it is really good to have a basic T-shirt pattern in your arsenal. There are so many different T-shirt patterns available and everybody likes something a bit different. I find quite a lot of um, t-shirt patterns to be quite boxy or have quite high neckline, but I like that the Sew Over It Ultimate t-shirt has a gentle bit of shaping at the waist, 
For the larger size ranges as well, it includes a bust start for even more shaping. And there are three different neckline options. There is a regular t-shirt scoop, there is a low scoop or a v-neck. And being slightly bigger busted, I really appreciate that. I prefer a low scoop or a V. Um, I've only made one so far, but I definitely want to make more. It's really quick, simple. It's literally the front piece, the back piece, the neck band and the sleeves. And as it's a t-shirt pattern, you can have long sleeves, short sleeves, three quarter length sleeves. Um, and yeah, you're good to go. So it is a PDF only pattern, but it comes in a size six to 30. So again, a really lovely size range. Um, I really recommend checking this one out. Pattern number two is the Tilly and the Buttons Indigo dress. So this is for woven fabrics. So there is a little bit more um, to do in terms of finishing the seams. And there's a little bit of fitting involved as well just to get it fitting right across your neckline and shoulders but it is a really simple shape and style and you can add a little bit more to it to make it a bit more in depth if you want to or you can keep it super simple and just do the bodice with the gathered skirt you don't need to add the gathered sleeves if you don't want to but i love that it gives a little bit of an extra special touch um, and the other thing I've done with my versions of the indigo is to add some ties to the side seams just to give it a bit more shaping as well. Um, size wise, this is um, a size UK size 6 to 24, but you can also get the PDF which is a UK size 16 to 34. So my number one super speedy sewing pattern is the Friday Pattern Company Adrian Blouse. It is a really lovely jersey fabric pattern that comes together really quick, but looks like you've made a real effort, which is always a bonus in my eyes. It just has uh, one pattern piece for the front and back, the neck band and the sleeves, and then you add elastic to the shoulders and the sleeve cuffs, and you're done. That's how easy it is. And I think it looks great under um, dungarees or pinafore dresses to give a little extra something to your garment of the day. <laughs> it's perfect for lightweight floaty jerseys like a viscose jersey or a bamboo jersey. Um, I've only made one so far, but definitely looking forward to making some more as we progress into the autumn seasons. It is a printed pattern, but I think you can also get it in PDF and it comes in a size extra small to 4XL, which is again, a really lovely size range. I did lengthen it a little bit because it's quite cropped. Um, I probably lengthened it a bit too much though, so I need to do a bit of work on that one. But again, really easy and you only really need to take a couple of measurements because you're using fabric with quite a bit of stretch. Um, you should be fairly good to go. So there you have it. Those are my top five super speedy sewing patterns. Let me know if you have made any of them or if you are now planning to make any of them. And let me know in the comments your top super speedy sewing pattern. Um, I would always interested to find out some more. This week we are super busy in the studio packing up the boxes to get ready to ship out on Monday and I cannot wait to get these out the door and next week's video will be the unboxing so I would love for you to come back and join me then. Have a fantastic day everyone and I'll see you all really soon. Bye!